All right, everyone, today I, I have an update for my AK build. Um, I've modified some parts on my uh, kit that came in, and I wanted to sort of make a, uh, a demonstration of how it'll look. Now, here we have a Serbian Zastava uh, AK. Um, it's got the standard front sight post and the standard gas block, but these, you know, these are different dimensions from the, like the, the uh, Russians and the Bulgarians and whatever, but uh, they, they're demonstrating my point here. Now I'm gonna put this up and we'll see it in a, in a silhouetted profile here. So you can see sort of the underslung cleaning rod and that, that sort of general shape is uh, something I really like. I like how they put the cleaning rod underneath the barrel. And I wanted to recreate that look, but have the uh, front sight in a different position because I uh, saw these JMAC custom uh, front sight gas blocks and I thought that was looking pretty sharp. Only problem is underneath of the here, they don't have a, uh, an allowance for a uh, bayonet lug or anything like that. Uh, and the reason why is because I bought the one that was meant for the SBR uh, so, because they, they didn't have any 16-inch uh, rifle length uh, gas, blo gas block combos, so I bought the uh, one for the SBR, and uh, I decided to do a little bit of modification work to it. So I, I, I know this guy at work, he's a good welder, and he welded this little block on here for me. And uh, so, what it is, is I uh, went ahead and had a hole milled in it, and that's my, uh, basically, the uh, lug that holds the cleaning rod in. And I just, it was used, it was used to, uh, that little trench in there was part of the original piece and then the block was welded on top. Now you can see how I drew uh, on there. That would be kind of a guide for when I grind that block down into the shape that I'm gonna have it in the final sort of piece. But that is uh, gonna go here on the gun. So it'll still be able to hold my bayonet, or not my bayonet, uh, my cleaning rod. Now, um, I didn't want two front sight posts on my gun, so what I had done was uh, had this milled down, or you know, I chopped off the ears on the front sight. So now it will be just the lug, which will have the detent that I need for my muzzle device. Uh, because the way these muzzle devices are held on is with this little detent right here, that spring loaded pin that sits in a little trench. Uh, and a little cutout for, so the muzzle device screws on, threads on, muzzle nut. And so this has that. And it also has the uh, cap for the end of the cleaning rod to fit in. So I can still press this on and pin it and use it as my uh, uh, detent for my muzzle nut. And I'll sort of uh, demonstrate that here. I, I won't put the barrel in, but I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's... Uh, Without the barrel, here's what that'll kind of look like. Uh, I have my upper gas tube cover. It's just the upper handguard cover. So I'll remove that. And so we have gas tube, gas tube, lower handguard, um, and the cleaning rod that comes out. And you can see my uh, machined parts. Got the lug that holds the cleaning rod in. And I got the cap on this old X front sight base. I got my muzzle nut. And we'll go on there. So you can imagine with the barrel in there what that'll look like. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it'll be uh, pretty good looking. I still got a little bit of work to do on this. Um, you know, that's just kind of, I'm just using the belt sander. And, uh, being real careful on it. I'm gonna round it off so it's gonna be a little bit rounded on the top. Focus that. So it'll have a little bit of a sort of a rounded corners, uh, which is fine by me. I don't need it to be like perfect. So it'll be kind of kind of like an arch on top of it. Uh, but that basically captures the front end of that. And so you can see. like that so that's that's pretty exciting right there um, and uh, I'll be making a video on the 
furniture I chose uh, because I'm pretty excited about that too. But I just want to make a little update. I um, want to give a shout out to JMAC Customs. I think these uh, front side gas blocks are really cool and uh, their customer service was great. It, the shipping took no time. It was literally like a few days later and it showed up. Like I was expecting a week or more, but it was just like three days later after my order, it was here. So it was really cool. Um, but yeah, that's that. I have a, a little uh, hole for my cleaning rod now. So, yep. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.